Okay, my next video is going to show a head rebuild on a 2006 RMZ 250. I'm going to grind the valves in, put the stem seals in, and then put the springs on with the collets. First of all then, how to grind the valve in. Um, I've seen some videos online where they use a drill and different methods, but I find doing it by hand is best. It, there's no rush. Just take your time. Make sure you do it correctly. They use this um, uh, chemical grinding paste and then a grinding stick with the sucker on the end. Um, okay, first we need to load up the valve with grinding paste. When you put the grinding paste on the valve, it's best to do it um, with gaps in between. You don't need to load it up all the way round. Um, for this valve, we're just using the fine grinding paste. There are no nicks or, or dents in the face at all, so we're just going to be cleaning it up, make sure it makes a good seal. be able to see that a bit better there okay so I'm going to put the valve into the head into its slot then I need to put some lubrication on the end of the sucker and stick it to the valve then you can you use two hands then to just grind the valve in, turn it back and forth, lift it out a little bit just to spread the, the grinding paste around. So just lift it up a little bit, turn it again, lift it up a little bit, turn it again, etc. etc. When you hear that it's not grinding anymore, you can take it out and put a bit more grinding paste on the face. So you continue to do this. Until what you want to see is a clean line all the way around the valve and the valve seat in the head. You can see uh, that this line here on the seat now is uh, nice and the metal is showing through all the way around so it's showing a good seal on the valve seat. On the valve itself though there are still some black marks if you look around so I just need to keep going just to make sure there are no black marks left where the valve seats into the head Now, as you can see, there are no black marks anywhere around the valve. So this means that when it sits in, it'll seat nicely into the head. You just need to clean up the, va the valve seat and the valve now, and that one's ready to go. I just repeat this now on the on the next three valves. 
Okay, so now all our valves are ground in. Now we need to put on our stem seals. Um, I've had difficulty in the past putting these on. Um, so the easiest way to do it is to uh, buy the tool basically. You can make these if you know what size uh, the inner diameter of the seal is. Um, but it's so much easier with the tool. Same as anything again. Okay, so you just push the, the stem seal onto the tool like so and then to insert it that's all you need to do is to put the tool into your valve guide and push firmly down on it. When you go to click like that then the valve stem seal is installed. You just pull the valve tool out and then your stem seal is inserted. You just repeat that then for the for the next three. So the next one we put the stem seal on and then we put it into the valve guide. We push it on and then remove the tool. Now we've got all the stem seals fitted, we need to insert the valves. So when we put the valves in, we just need to put a bit of lubrication on the stem of the actual valve itself. Only a light smearing of oil so that um, it doesn't just stick in the valve guide when it's dry. So it's only just wipe it over with a bit of just normal engine oil and then you can put them in into the head just slide them in there we are the easiest way I find of putting the springs and the spring collets on is to do it in the press. Um, I find it if I put the spring on and then the retainer on then put the clips in the top like so. As you can see this one is a bit damaged but it will be okay when it's, when it's in. So if we load that to the press then okay so now you can see I've got it loaded up in the press I've got the spring compressor tool on the top there and underneath on the valve I've got a piece of mild steel just supporting on the valve there. Um, so when I work the press you can see it just pushes down on the spring in a vertical direction so at this point you might need to just get a small screwdriver to make sure that the clips go down where they're supposed to you may need to just jiggle it it does help if you use a non-magnetic screwdriver or if you use a magnetic one as you can see it will pull pull them back out both of the collets now are down around the shaft where they should be so if you slowly let off the press there we go then the collet should hold the valve assembly in place it's important now that once you've done that and it's in place, you need to give the uh, the collets on the top a tap with a hammer to make sure that they are seated properly. So just a light tap with a hammer that will make sure that the collets are seated on the top of the valve and that it's not going to come out when you put it back on the bike. I just need to do this for the other three valves now 
and then that's the head rebuild complete. Thanks very much and if you like what you see, please subscribe.